What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how you can update your H96 Max TV box from Android 6 to Android 7. The update is very easy and all you've got to do is follow this video step by step. So what you're going to need is a safety pin or some sort of pin that you can access the reset hole with. You need a USB-A to USB-A cable. So that's what it looks like. I will also link this exact cable in the description box below because this one works perfect. Of course you need your H96 box. Um, and you need a Windows laptop or a Windows computer. I'm just going to use a GPD Win because that's what I have here conveniently in front of me. So the first thing you need to do is download this zip file. You'll see the link for this zip file in the description and extract it. So as soon as you've downloaded it, you extract it, you will, be, you will end up with three folders. Factory Tool, H96 Max Firmware and the third file is Driver Assistant. Now the first thing you want to install is Driver Assistant folder. Open that up and install the driver. So all you do is hit install driver. As soon as you see this message, install driver OK, that means you're done. You may get another message in between asking you to install a driver, accept it and continue. And as soon as you see that final message, I'll do it again, this one, install driver OK, that means the driver is completed successfully. So the next step we're gonna do is connect up the H96 Max Plug one end into the blue socket, which is the USB 3 port. So don't put it into any other port. Make sure it goes in the blue socket. So that's in. Now the other socket you're going to put in the laptop, but not yet. So leave that unplugged. You will notice there is nothing else plugged into this box. No power, no external power. Nothing else needs to be plugged into this box. So keep it exactly as you see it. Throughout the firmware, you're not going to add any power to this. It's going to work directly from your laptop power. Now what you do is you've got an AV socket here, you grab this pin and you're going to need two hands to do this because you have to at the same time afterwards plug this into the computer. So you could get someone to help you. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So when you put this pin in, you have to fiddle around because you're not going to get it straight away. You will feel a button. There, I got it. You can hear it. That click, that's the button. So there is basically a reset button inside there. You've got to keep that pressed. So I'm going to do that with one hand. There, I got it. So that button is pressed. I'm going to keep that pressed. Now I need to plug this USB in to that port. So let's try and do that. Of course, you can get someone to help you on this stage if you can't do it like, like I am. It is a bit tricky, so I'm going to have to push it against something. Am I putting it in right? No, I wasn't. There. There. You heard that? You heard that noise? As soon as you hear that noise on your computer, you can take out this reset hole. You don't need the reset pin pressed. You are ready and connected. Now what you need to do is open up the factory tool, the first folder there, as you see. I'll try and zoom in. So we're going to open up this factory tool folder and open up the software factory tool. Okay. So you know you've done this correctly if one of the ports here say loader 4 or loader a number. So something has come up here, loader 4, that means you've done it correctly. You are connected um, as you should be. If, if you, it doesn't say loader and a number under the ID section, then you have to do the reset hold process again and then connect it to the laptop, then open the software and it should say loader. But I've got it there first time, which is great. Now what you do, you can see the software is actually in Chinese. So press the world symbol and go for the second option. So now you've got English. All right, now click on the first icon here, which says firmware and find the firmware. So on the desktop, the second folder is H96 Max firmware. If you click that, here's the firmware, click open. Now give it 10 seconds. It'll look like it's not doing nothing, but believe me, it is. So give it about 10 seconds and you'll see what happens. There you go. So this is what you want to happen. So all you do now is press run and the firmware will automatically be installed for you. So let that complete to 100%, I'll be right back. So 
So there you go, the firmware update has now completed. You've got the green success icon there. Now what you have to do is click on stop, which is over here. So click on stop. Okay, and now you can just disconnect the USB. So you don't need your computer anymore. The latest Android 7.1.2 has been loaded onto this. Now all you have to do is connect your, your HDMI and your power. Switch the box on and you will see that this is running Android 7.1. So I have successfully updated this H96 Max TV box. Did not take long, as you just saw, it was very, very easy. Let's go to settings and have a quick look at the Android version. And as you can see, this is running the latest Android 7.1.2 Nogart. If we have a quick look at the system apps, you will see we have YouTube, Netflix, KDMC, which is a custom Kodi Krypton, and you also have something new, HappyCast, which will let you screen mirror your smartphone to the TV box. I was able to happy cast my Samsung Galaxy S8 and it connected nice and quick and I am now able to watch anything on my S8 wirelessly on the big screen. All issues previously found on the H96 Max Android version 6 TV box have been resolved, including issues where the latest YouTube was laggy and would not work properly. Well now everything works as it should, you can install any app from the Play Store, there are no longer any compatibility issues, the box feels much faster and smoother and here are the results for the Antutu benchmark test. We got an incredible score of 82,299, so let's see how that compares with the others. So this is my top performing Android TV box chart of 2017. Here you will find all the TV boxes for this year. I have ranked them by anti 2 performance scores and you can compare all the specs and prices and this chart should help you decide on what TV box to go for. Well from these results you can see the beast just got more powerful. The H96 Max with the new 7.1.2 firmware has now jumped up to position 3 on this chart. So there you have it guys, that was my quick video showing you how to update the H96 Max TV box. Most of you will know that the H96 Max is my daily driver. I've been using it every day with the hope that H96 Max will get Android 7 soon and that will resolve some of those minor issues with compatibility and performance. I'm glad I waited as this update was exactly what this TV box needed. All issues have been sorted out, this box is simply awesome and I'm wondering that if they start shipping with Android 7 the price may go up. So if you are thinking about purchasing the H96 Max then now would be the best time. And with that being said I'll leave all relevant links in the description for the firmware and other useful stuff to help you upgrade your H96 Max. I will also leave the link to the H96 Max in case you now feel you're ready to pick one up. That's all for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.